Paul's Garrett Schiffsky for Waterloo. This Friday night matchup between the Blackhawks and Stampede is underway with Sioux Falls sending the draw down deep into the Blackhawks zone. Emmett Crado stops it behind the net and Sam Renzel scoots from behind his goal coming out left of the net. Brings Sheds a check, gets into the offensive zone, right wing corner, centered one. Schiffsky got tied up near the front of the net just before the puck arrived and could not make a play on it. Sobieski leads the rush back to the center circle. End of a shift, he'll dump it in. Benoit. Leaves it in the corner for Renzel. His defense mate gave it up. Here's a chance. Sioux Falls scores. Chris Pelosi has 11 goals this season, and three of them are against the Waterloo Blackhawks. A miscue, the turnover, and Pelosi capitalizes. Sioux Falls takes the lead at 427 of the first period. Unassisted goal for Chris Pelosi. And that was not the opening the Blackhawks were hoping for, and not much that Emmett Crotto could do. Is that... Baker curls along the boards, drops it back, Pionk kicks to his stick, tries a wrist shot, tip off the post and then off of Medina again and it stayed out. Cleared down the length of the ice by Sturbeck, half led by O'Connell from behind the net to Pionk and now to O'Connell with room on right wing, navigates over the line, curls along the right wing boards. Banks went into the corner, found Erdman there. Griffin Erdman back to the deep slot. Aaron Pionk back to O'Connell. Rink wide, Rinzel left out, shoots, he scores! Here come the Hawks with a power play goal from Sam Rinzel, tying it up just before the midpoint of the opening period, set up by Pionk and O'Connell. And Sam Rinzel has goals in three consecutive games, his ninth of the season, and the power play goal does make it a 1-1 score. 9-12, the official time on that goal. So the Sioux Falls Stampede lead. Lass it and shoots, flips it wide. Benoit left wing corner, plays it to the end boards out of the reach of Caden Brown. And the puck comes back to Brown off the corner boards. Brown high slot turning, looking at the net, doesn't have a lane, gives it to Benoit across the ice. Robertson moves in, shoots, he scores! Here come the Hawks! Waterloo in front after the teams get back to five on five. Ben Robertson scores at 5.23 of the second period. And Waterloo in front for the first time after the long sequence in the offensive zone. 5.23, the time of the goal. And the officials are talking in the referee's crease. I think there's a chance that Matika's earlier opportunity went in. But pass from Matika, it was tipped, stays on side, though Matika to it in the offensive zone, left wing boards, flipped it back, Rinzel's way, got up over his head, and now McDonough into the Blackhawk zone, trying to get around Benoit, in front, backhander, and a save by Emmett Crotto, and he holds on with Bruinder at the top of the crease, Crotto keeps the black on the score, Hawks win the draw to start the third period on top one, it's Patrick Geary inside of his own blue line for O'Connell, hopped off of his skate, but then Weebush overstated it, Hawks get it back, Lindbergh snaps it up the right wing boards, comes around around the perimeter, Fleming chopping at it. Hit Geary, stays in on the left wing side, then goes behind the net with Lindbergh chasing after it, kicks it back Renzel's way, juggles it along the wall outside the right wing corner, but then got it back to Lindbergh. Rims one back to Geary at the left point. Geary above the circle, long shot, tip save, rebound, stop attempt, Lindbergh scores! Here come the Hawks, just 31 seconds into the third period. Medina made the save, but Lindbergh was right there. No one around him able to go to his backhand with Medina down and lift it in. And Gavin Lindbergh has made it three straight for the Blackhawks after Sioux Falls scored first in this game. Lindbergh at the 31-second mark. And it's an assist for Patrick Geary in his 100th USHL regular season game on the setup with the shot from the left point. Pionk starts from 200 feet away. From behind his net, he goes to Renzel. Diagonally out to center, Lindbergh on right wing. Got to the line, rolled it down into the corner. Erdman chasing, jousts it behind the net. Came back his way, flips one Pionk's direction, but stolen before it got there. Brought up the ice by Panzer. Tapped down into the Blackhawk zone. Crotto out of the net, lost it, and Sioux Falls scores a shorthanded goal. Crotto tried to play it out to center himself. Either hit his own man or possibly knocked down by Panzer. Went bouncing back into the crease, and Panzer got a last touch on it for a shorthanded goal. And the Stampede are back within one at 13-28 of the third period. Jackson Panzer, the shorthanded goal. It's the fifth scored by Sioux Falls Stampede this season. Yeah, Crotto hit Panzer trying to clear it. Cut out, Murr, wrist shot. Blocked partially by Garrett Brown. Murr one more time for Sturbeck. Rister, tip, 
wide, 30 seconds left to go in regulation. Now Fleming tries to center, Crotto gloves it and holds on with 26 and now down to 10 seconds. Sturbeck to Fleming at the Blackhawk line, couldn't bounce it into the zone, has to try to dump it in, gloved by Crotto, drop back to the ice, cue up the final horn at Sioux Falls, Denny Sanford Premier Center, Hawks win! Waterloo holds off the Sioux Falls stampede, three to two. The Blackhawks even up the series with one game's remaining between the teams and will try to win it outright when they come back to Sioux Falls.